Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. It's been a little while since my last video. Sorry about that. Um, I've been just doing stuff. Uh, nothing exciting. Yard work. And I'm trying not to stress out about doing videos. I'll just do them if I want to is, is kind of how I'm handling the situation right now. Um, because it was stressing me out, like I told you, I think in my last video. So today I wanted to show you guys, I, I have a ton of envelopes I've mentioned in the past. I wish I hadn't gone to a yard sale where they said, here, take them. And I got, I don't know, five boxes, I think is what it was, of envelopes. This person used to work for Hallmark and they have um, excess envelopes all the time, I guess. And so... Yeah, I ended up with a lot of envelopes. These really big ones are a little harder to figure out, you know, what to do with them. You know, you can, um, you know, fold them in half or something like that and add them to a signature. And But today I decided to make two envelopes out of one big one. And I thought I would bring you along and show you how I have done it. It's very simple, but... I thought, you know, I could make a video. So that's what I'm doing. So let's just measure. This particular envelope is about nine and a half by six and a half. I'm just going to go in the middle. I'm not going to measure the middle. I'm just going to kind of go, you know, kind of here. Okay. So we have two sides now and you could just very simply, you know, add some glue right here, curve this edge and call it another envelope. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to mimic this side over on this side. So the way I'm going to do that is... I tried it once before and it worked. So I have a razor blade. It is not sharp at all. You know, it's like I've used it so much I scrape things with it. It's not sharp, but it's um, a thin enough edge that hopefully it's not going to tear our paper. So I'm just gently, and if it does, that's okay. You know, I can just use the other one. And um, these envelopes are just sitting begging to be used. So if I end up having to throw one away, not that big of a deal. It is getting very thin where this is glued down. So our weather is really lovely today. We're supposed to have a low 60s for temperature. And we have finally gotten all of our yard work done. So now it's just going to be the keeping it green and mowed battle that happens during the summertime. And this, this is kind of tedious, but if you go too fast, you're gonna put a hole in your paper and I'd really rather not because I'm gonna have to start over with you guys. It's, it's thin, really thin where I'm cutting or prying. Um, but when I go to glue it back down, it'll be fine. Okay, so I've just opened it up like that. So you guys, so easy. All you have to do is don't fold it so you don't have a, um, a fold line, but you just, you know, kind of fold it over Keep your lines here where your folds are for your flap and everything. It's hard for me to see. There it is. So try and keep those in line. And then just trace it all the way if you can. Sorry if my head is in the way, but my thumbs are in the way, so I'm trying to keep everything held tight. Okay. 
Okay, so then we just cut these off. So let's do it. And then once you're done, you can decorate it up however you want. But it's a fun way to get, you know, a little bit different shape of an envelope and then also color because these Hallmark envelopes come in every color. I've been working on a little golden book journal and so I figured I would show you that. I have one ready to kind of glue in. So I figured I'd glue it in and maybe just show you the pages that I have so far. It's been quite a challenge for me. Um, I'll kind of explain why as I flip through. That these are the challenges that I come across. I don't know if it's the same way for other people, but it's it's the thing that challenges me the most. So you just fold that over like this one and then you glue it up. So then you have the, the little edge like you would. Isn't that cute? I kind of scraped the edge of the envelope right there. Anyway, just let's go ahead and glue it so it's all done. I don't know if I'll use this in the, um, you know, I just had this open. had a paper towel around here. Let's see. Okay. Alrighty. So there we go. So there's your envelope. And if you wanted to, you could do this, you know, before you glue it back down, you could ink around all of the edges. And then on this side, it has the little thing. So I thought that was cute. Uh, the one I did a little bit ago was a blue one. So let me show you the pages and then we'll, well, actually, let me just go to that one particular page. If I can find it now. I know, I think I know that it's in this, I think it's right here. Yeah, okay. So this one, I wanted to bring in the colors. So we're going to, I, I traced this out of um, scrapbook paper. I just laid it down onto the scrapbook paper, traced it and cut it. So now we're going to glue it. And I know I'm going to have to trim it a little bit, so I guess it's, I guess it's good that you see all of those things. I guess. I feel like I'm about to sneeze, you guys. So sorry if that happens. Sorry, I want to get it lined up so that it still closes well. Okay, and then see, I have hangover. Don't you hate hangover? Uh, joke. I have not had that happen to me in a very long time. I was during my irresponsible days. Okay, so trim that off, and then I wanna do the same on this one. And I want to make sure that I have it low enough that when I go to open the envelope, because I'm gonna be gluing it down, I don't want this part to hit the page underneath or it won't open properly. So you just wanna make sure you have it low enough. So let's just cover this real quick. And then the weight of these papers, I'm hoping, kind of helps the envelope stay closed. Okay. 
I don't mind a little bit of the edge of the envelope showing at the top, especially since it's got color anyway, it's fine. Let's squish that glue to the edge. Okay, so there we go. And I am going to glue this in as a pocket onto this page. So I wanna make sure that my pages are lined up because I want it to be visible from all of the layers of pages that I'm doing here. See, this is what takes me so long, you guys. I want this to show. So I had to plan all of that for that little bit of flower to show. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Okay, so I'm going to glue this down, make sure it's straight. And I think that what I'll do is I'm gonna lift it just a little bit and over, give myself a little line so I know that's kind of where I want it to be. And about an inch in. So we're going to make it a pocket And I'm just going to cover that up. And hope it's lined up. Okay. So now it is a pocket right here. And then, of course you have the envelope. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what I have done so far since I, you know, I actually have been working, but very slowly. I am doing a Heidi Little Golden Book journal and I've covered the inside because the colors that I wanted to use on this page didn't really go and so I just decided to cover it. And I'm going back and forth. I, you know, I wanted, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I could do it all in a theme of, I think it's, they go to Germany at some point. It starts out somewhere else. Uh, it says where, I don't remember where. In the hills of some place. Swiss Alps. Um, I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have it themed that way? But I don't have enough stuff to have it themed that way. So I decided to go floral. And so that's what we're doing. So I have layered things up to make these pockets. So this is a pocket here. And I will be adding stuff here, like a fabric um, to hold the spine together. So I have a flip, you know, there and some um, stationery. I found this on Amazon. If you look double-sided stationery up on Amazon, you find some fun things. I glued this down to be a tuck and hopefully it works fine once it's all said and done and it'll hang out of the journal. I, this is, um, a tip in, is that what it's called? Where it's actually just glued to the page itself. I just really love how cute the pictures are in this journal and the flowers love flowers. Um, and then, you know, I'm trying to add lots of journaling space. So even if it's a floral page, it's light enough it can be journaled on. A little pocket there. This is, should not be glued down. How did that happen? Oh, I guess from when I glued this pocket here down. Anyway, this is a doily I found at a yard sale. Another piece of the double-sided stationery. It came in several colors. And then this has been really hard for me because this color is perfect, but I look at it and I'm like, oh my goodness, that color. <laughs> but I mean, look at all those colors, but it works. It's these colors here, but it's really kind of scary for me to actually do it. So, but I'm going to do it. This, I don't know for sure what I'm going to do on this yet. I think what I'm going to do is put glue here and right here so that it's sort of a, you know, like a, a tuck, right? 
like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then have it so that it opens and you can put something in there. Not sure yet. This is a little, little tuck spot there. I don't know what I'm going to do in the center here yet. So one of the challenges that I have, this is an added page I just glued to the actual Golden Book page. One of the challenges that I have is, this isn't a good example of it because the colors are very similar. Um, I'm gonna add this here. I figured her aunt is coming and they can have tea. That's why I thought. Once I get to the point, I'll explain my the little dilemma I come up with. Here's another tuck there. And of course you can journal here when you take whatever out. I'm thinking I'm going to add this here, but I don't know yet, so I'm just leaving that there. Again, the bright green. So, let's see here. Mm, that kind of works too. Um, the other side of that. This is another pocket here. It was really hard trying to make this not look like Christmas because of this red and the green. Maybe. So one of the things that I have trouble with is when you have, you have something like this, it's floral, there's mountains, it's outdoors. And then over here on this, you know, cause they're, they're attached. You have an indoor space with furniture and all that. So when I have something like this goes, the flowers, I had to do something completely different on this side. It just, I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying, but these are one of my struggles is, um, or this one, the color over here. All right, let me find, see the way I glued things together, I tried to overcome my thing. So this was the page in the golden book. The other side of that page in the golden book is this with all the browns. And I'm like, how am I going to add one piece of paper folded to go with both? And so what I finally ended up doing was gluing something onto this page to make the other pages work. I don't know if I'm explaining that well at all, but it ends up being quite the challenge for me because I have to have things matchy-matchy. So I think I finally accomplished it. I've been working on just the pages for about a week. This is another tip in. It's a ends up being a pocket. And then this is a pocket. And then here this flips out. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right here. And then once I did this, I was like, uh-oh. This goes with this, but I don't know if this goes with this. But we'll deal with that another time. This is another pocket up here. And then here's what we just did. This is another one of those, eh, you know, how do you make it work? But this, this worked out. This is a vintage piece of stationery that I found at a, an estate sale. I don't know, do you guys have these problems when you do a book like this or you, you want the colors to flow and then you, you turn the page and it's a completely different look <laughs> so it really is challenging and that happened on this one I was taking um out of a a book this book here nature sketchbook and this goes with the colors but the rest of the page like this here I have to do something with that blue it does not work for me I have to cover that I cannot leave it. <laughs> so then I have to dig through everything I own to find something that will go right here. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And this is again a place for um, a tuck. Pocket here. Another um, I don't know, is it 
is it a doily? Is that considered a doily? I don't know, but I found it at a yard sale. It's really cute, I think. This is actually Italian paper, so, you know, the theme, total, you know, it's everywhere. Again, kind of Christmassy, but, uh, you know, girls got to do what a girl's got to do. And then the center of this one, I decided to put another one of those flippies. So I was trying to make it all work color-wise with this page. I think I think I did it. Okay, so center and then back this way. Uh, probably add a pocket here. I just haven't gotten there yet. Another pocket here. This one I took a 12 by 12 and just folded it up to make, and, and then I backed the back side of the paper with some blue notebook paper. So that was just a one, one whole sheet of scrapbook paper. Again, a bit Christmassy, but hopefully I can overcome it. And this is kind of mm, yellow, but I'm going, this kind of pinkish color kind of goes with the peachish color. We'll see if I leave it. I don't know. And then I have to do something here because that's just all white and I cannot leave it like that. And then the back side, again, it's a pocket here, but I made it so that the front and back look the same. So that's what I have so far. And I will most likely cover this too. I'm not sure, but most likely I will. So that's where I am, you guys. I hope you're doing well. And um, I hope that this doesn't take me all that long to complete. Thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.